The Nelson Mandela Secondary School, named after a South African icon. But for these people, South Africa is the last place they want to think of. That's where Mido Masia died. And this is his funeral. Clearly a difficult day for the family. There, Masia's wife next to his mother. Many here described Masia as a responsible young man. So it's difficult for them to hear that back in South Africa, police claim he resisted arrest. For now, though, it's time for a final goodbye at the Matola Cemetery. But her pain is only a small part of the fallout of this tragedy. And officials want it now to become a tale for the courts. As Mozambicans, we don't have a problem with South Africans. What the government of Mozambique is asking for is that the perpetrators be punished because what they did is inhumane. Mido Masia may have been laid to rest here, but his story is far from over. Mozambican officials made it clear here at the funeral that they will be watching the court case in South Africa and hoping that their neighbor ensure justice prevails. Robert Shibambu, Mutola, Maputo.